six. Now the compressor's really loud. You want, so you want some toast? Mm -hmm. All right, let's get some toast. Mm -hmm. And then what? Whoa, dude. And that's chasing the new toy. Wow. And watch this. It will also go if you push that elbow. Watch out. Don't crash. So do you like that? Oh, I wouldn't want to lose. He moved. The big guy got him off there. Okay. Wow. Let's get the right product. Yellow one with a blue one? Whoa. Oh, I think I threw back there. Hmm. There it is. Cash. Can you reach it or should I help you? Yeah. Just a little outside. There we go. We need our folder, right? Uh, yeah. Man, oh man, what a process. Who likes the DMV? Nobody. But we got it done. Now she's officially registered. Now we got to try and get the custom plates. I think we're going to do maybe just trucking who knows still get some food get back to these kids and volumes are low but who, who knows if we'll get some we'll, we'll see dude this is awesome casey how does yours work we got to figure out this little one you got so, so you have to knock that up and then then you put two inside those two holes oh those holes and the, and these you lock it up and then you put the money in and then, oh, okay and then you well show them what you got too man what the your brother, my Uncle Jason and I used to play with stuff like this. Look, you push your thumb on it. Vroom, 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 it vroom, be, vroom. It has to be plugged. Wow. Uh, okay. We're going to get them all set up, put some batteries in them, okay? You, you want the blue one? Mama said you were good boys when I was gone, so she said we could get these things. How did I? Yeah. Good job. Mommy. Wow. Yes, all right, and we got a load. Um, TQL of all things. It's Traveler's Rest. We call it TR. It's right there by Furman University. He we're didn't gonna, even try to sell we're gonna, either. yeah, we're gonna try to sell. I took my quote. Well, he tried to sell me on twenty five hundred, and I, well, I said twenty six fifty, and we agreed on twenty five fifty. But down to Auburndale, five hundred and ninety miles. So we'll take that. Because uh, I also didn't think about something, guys. Uh, you got to remember about holidays. Um, what's it? What is it? Labor Day, babe, or Memorial Labor Day, right? Labor Day is coming up. So a lot of people. I'll open in a second, Cash. A lot of people go on vacation. And stuff. So the brokers will take out, take take all of Friday off, and um, so they're getting stuff booked today. And then a lot of receivers will not be open on Monday. So just know that when you're booking these loads, if you get something and you don't get it off your trailer on Friday, you're going to be hurting to get it off on Monday. So let's go get that. We got to be there by four o'clock. It's one o'clock. So we're going to play some cars, and then we are going to get uh, going. Yes. My brother and I, Uncle Jason, used to love this stuff, man. I like it. You like it? Uh -huh. Who's gonna crash first? Who's gonna hit the laps? Oh my goodness. There's only like $30, guys. I think this thing's kind of a waste of time, but he, wa he wanted it. I don't know what it's supposed to do, but it like pops cars out. The money's out. The money, whatever. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna get, get to work. These kids are gonna race. Bye, truck and wine. I love you. I love you too. That what you said? Yeah, I, <laughs> I love you guys. I'll be back today. Wow. Enjoy your new toy. I'll be back in a little bit, okay? I love you. Let's get going. We got the uh, compressor in the truck, and that air horn is probably illegal. It's a little, a little bit loud, so. Um, but here's the old one. old one, just a lot of rust. Thing was all rusted out, so. Got it in last night, got truck and wife a good old uh, hose for her pressure washer and some soap that she wanted, but man, that horn is loud. Hope she doesn't ever hit anybody with it. And it's nice having these trees gone. I gotta put something else here now, but, huh. Let's get the old red and get to the truck, and get it fired up. New compressor is in. And working like a charm. Another scorcher out here. What's it like where you're at? Where are you guys at? How hot is it? Yikes, 94 degrees. Probably gonna get this on the truck. It's only 4,000 pounds. 
They say it's empty bottles, so uh, we'll see what it is. I've never picked up from here before. It's in Traveler's Rest, which uh, has a story behind it itself. It, uh, I don't know exactly the date frame, but back in the war era, back in the, I would say, early 1900s, late 1800s, when people were traveling up and down to Tennessee, the Smoky Mountains, North Carolina, down here to the south, um, and they would stop there for rest, for travel, traveler's rest. So that's what they called it that, because this is the beginning of the incline of a pretty big mountain, the Smoky Mountains. So that's why they call it a traveler's rest, and the name stuck. All kinds of history out here, so. We're gonna get up to Pleasantburg Road and head up from there. We're gonna go be right by Furman, uh, Furman University, F-U-R-M-A-N, which is, I think, top 20 for most expensive tuitions in all of America, which is insane, so. Purple Paladins is their uh, mascot. I don't, know what, I don't know what that means, but I think he's like a Spartan kind of guy. But that's also where Truck and Wife um, graduate high school. What do you guys know about those RC cars? Come on, BMW. Use the accelerator. Get on, on, on. This poor old lady. Um, what were those called? Slot cars? Is that what those things are called? Back in the day, my brother and I had them where you could like pull out the rear axle and it had little gears on it. <laughs> you like grind out the gears. And it had like little metal things with springs on them that you would, that would keep traction to the road, to the electrical diodes, whatever. Man, those were some good times. We had some track back then, the actual asphalt colored black track with the metal strips in it, make figure eights and stuff. Oh yeah. Good times back then. But hey, they got new ones now. It's like a little travel case. You just close it back up, take it with you. So cool stuff. Let's get up to TR. Sorry about all the bugs on the windshield, but that's Furman University right there. It's the entrance from the northbound uh, 276. And to our left is the actual university. Real pretty grounds. Really perfectly manicured lawns and stuff. And then uh, have a nice like walking, uh, I guess small lake lawn kind of thing with a big old clock tower on top. It's real pretty. You can walk all the way around it. Gardens and stuff that you can walk through. Cool place. And up there on the right, that's called Paris Mountain. And there's a lot of nice houses up there. <laughs> I have a view down here of the valley of... Uh, what it's called is probably not called Greenville Valley, but Paris Mountain has some views. A little windy getting up there, uh, but it's pretty up there. And we are only about two miles away from this pickup, so let's see where it's at. Oh, plus, uh, they have a golf course on site here. A lot of famous golfers went here. I should know, but I forget. There's like three of them one woman, or two women, and one male that uh, came here specifically because this course is extremely long. It's like one of the longest yardage courses out there. So it teaches them to play, I guess. Good with all their drives and second shots. Yeah, little, little facts about Furman. Here we are, Traveler's Rest. I've actually never taken this route that I'm going right now. I always veer off to the right right there. And kind of, uh, that gets me up to Hendersonville, Asheville. It takes you up to 26. But I've been up here one time for a restaurant that they had just opened. But I uh, came up with truck and wife of all people. I think it was really busy or something. I forgot why we didn't actually stay there, but it's a cute little town. This is pretty much back in the day where I guess travelers rest, people traveled and rested. Sushi place, sushi out here in the middle of the mountains, probably pretty good. Maybe not. Farmer's market, what's this up here? Sinclair, Southern Rustics. Uh, this place right here on the right, I believe that was kind of where we went. Yeah, I think it was. A tasting room. The drive range to the left. So imagine this back in the 1800s, late 1800s, being a little town that people came through to spell their horses and stock up on supplies. Traveler's Rest. Here we are at West Road. This is a Duke Energy plant right here, and looking at the map right up there 
past that second stoplight is at high school. Travelers Rest High School. No idea what their mascot is. Let's get down here at the very end of the street. Is uh, 27 West, West Road. or power poles over there and stuff. Transformers, little stock supply for bad weather, which we have sometimes out here. Land for sale, okay. Sorry about the windshield, guys. I will be getting it clean. The QT I went to, the fuel, it doesn't have the long uh, sticks, or the long whatever they're called, the squeegees. Well, those are the brand new little houses, all right? Kind of close together, but whatever. The siding's all dirty from the <laughs> All right, where are we going here? All right, so it was actually right across from those new houses right here. Went just a little bit past it, came back. Kind of had to come off the road and come back in, but we have four doors available. Looks like a nice place. Looks like it's pretty new. It's all steel building. It says TK Packaging and Supply. Kings, King of Caps, Bottling Supplies, okay? Don't know what that means, but I'm about to find out. I don't want to live without you. Get back there and open our doors. I'm going to put it between the first two doors. One door is open and three are closed, so. And you can see they might be building something else because they have a bunch of um, support beams, metal beams over here for building another building. Looks like they're actually opening, clearing up for that. Let's stay out of the way here, get away from these parked cars. Go open our doors. Alright. Oh, ba -da -ba -da -ba. Pretty nice. Sunshine. Clean inside. Our trailer should still be clean because we cleaned it out. Oh, we got those rubber mats in there. I remember that from those paper rolls. Let's see if these guys want them. And I forgot somebody. Somebody said something to me. I forgot what they said to use them for. But, um, got plenty of them. Yeah, but it seems like they're gonna build something else right there. Got all the metal scaffolding and such. Cool, big things. What, that first door? Yeah. I'm going to Auburndale, Florida. You know that load? I got a pickup number for you. Let's go check it out. Real nice guys. Uh, real cool work environment too. You couldn't see off to the right, but there was a, uh, it's set up really cool inside there. Like all open windows and very modern. But there are the biggest uh, cab distributor in the South. And their number one customer is Barry. Okay, so while he's loading it, um, he did a little tri-pack maintenance for my APU. My uh, belt was getting really squeaky and it was actually fraying a little bit. I think I'm already loaded. Yeah, he's already pulling it up. Man, took about five minutes. Still gonna put this on, but uh, one of the biggest things about APUs that'll make you think it's broken is that uh, belt tension's not high enough. So it's about a six rib. Well, I mean, it is a six rib. Six rib, but about 47 inches long. They didn't have 47 on the dot. That's 47 and uh, 0.3, so I got that one. Better be a little longer than too short, but you can always tension it and get a lot of tension on this thing. Um, and that's what's gonna keep your APU from bogging down and not spinning the alternator fast enough. And that'll trick the computer that's inside here to think that uh, you're not getting enough amps supplied or volts supplied by the alternator and that will shut off the APU. And that's honestly one of the biggest problems I've had with the APU is, is belt tension, that is it. I've changed the oil and filters on it three times now in two years. Never had one issue except the belt. So, APUs are pretty reliable, but I did replace the compressor when I first got it because I thought it was a little seized, but it actually uh, probably was okay. I just wanted to make sure it was brand new and my AC is ice cold. So let's switch out that belt. Just two bolts. One had to use the alternator for tension. So top of the alternator bolt and bottom and then really push on it to get the tension back. There we go, brand new belt. Gotta get it as tight as you can. We'll wait for that AC compressor to kick on, see if we get any squeak. Oh, 
Well then, they got us loaded before we could even change the belt on the APU. Well, it took us about five minutes. Man, let's see what we got in here. Wow. Got to put some straps up in there, but we have four pallets. That is a light load. We still got our rubber things. All right, let's get up there and put those things straps on. We're loaded. APUs and got a new belt, and we are heading out of Traveler's Rest back down. I'm probably go to the pool for a little bit because it's an open window to deliver tomorrow, but I do want to be there sometime before noon because it's Friday and it's a big weekend coming up, so you don't want to be stuck with a load all Labor Day weekend in uh, Orlando area. So, But today was, I was a little bit... I kind of halfway through the morning realized, oh yeah, it is a big weekend, so it's gonna be a little bit scarce on loads. But then I thought maybe somebody will want to get something moved. So I just put out, like I always do, offers everywhere. Offers on JV Hunt, offers on Coyote, offers on TQL, which I usually don't do. Offers on CH Robinson, which has still been telling me that my, my loads are too high, which is, or my offers are too high. Nothing's too high, you make your own market. You say what you would run it for, so. Um, yeah, I was getting worried. I was like, ah, maybe I won't get nothing. Maybe I'll just have a long, nice weekend. All the bills are paid. We're ahead on everything. So that's what I was thinking. And then, what was it? Almost 2 o'clock. Phone rings. TQL. And I actually didn't answer the first time. I just let it go. I was like, and I don't truck wise, like, why didn't you answer? I was like, I just don't like TQLs. It, they have a bad rap for being some of the worst pushy salesmen. So I was like, I just don't want to hear it on the phone right now. And uh, that's when we just got back from the store and we had those new toys and we were putting them together. So. Here's a little combo though. They do. They were very thorough on this. Calling, checking my what your trailer I had, um, all the information on me and all that, which they do in the past. But they called me like three times. So here's one of those phone conversations right here while I was playing with those toys. I'm empty in uh, Greenville, so yeah, about ten miles south. Yep. RMT. 53 uh, dry van, Great Dane, 20, 2014. Okay, how many kilos are you Uh, 45.5. Okay, so we're going to ask you your able to Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Uh, you're welcome awesome. to find that text when yeah. you are loaded up there and Traveler's Rest, okay? Awesome, sounds good. Thanks, TQL. Mm. Yeah, all right, thanks. Thanks. All right. <laughs> yeah, all right, thanks. <laughs> that's uh, the most professional TQL's ever been. Yeah, yeah, nice. yeah it's nice. I mean, all checked in for it. Had to be here before 4 o'clock. Got here at 3 o'clock. And, um, but I wasn't worried about it, but we did get a load. So, I mean, four pallets on here. 4,000 pounds going down to Orlando and delivers Friday so I can get back up Saturday, back home, um, enjoy the weekend. And then Tuesday will be the next time you really start seeing the load boards get active again. Uh, there might be something that pops up Saturday or Sunday, but um, I wouldn't count on it. But stick to your guns, know your worth, and throw out as many offers as you can. It's your market. You make the market. And it's just, you're going to be sold to all the time. You're going to be sold to on insurance. You're going to be sold to on services that file your UCR, services to file your BOC 3, which you only have to file once ever. It's like everyone's trying to sell you something in this industry. So just keep a sharp sharp wit about you and throw out a, a bunch of offers. Say this is any load that you would maybe take. Like I was bidding on loads that were going to PA today. I was bidding on loads going to Florida. I was bidding on loads going just close, like around Charlotte or Greensboro, North Carolina, or down to like uh, Macon, Georgia. Anything that's going to pay well for my time, my effort on a Thursday, going into a Friday on a big weekend. And look what happened. We ended up getting something that was uh, pretty dang worth it. So we're going down to Florida, see what the weekend holds, and uh, might have something fun for Saturday. I don't know, but it's in the works. So we'll see what happens. And thanks so much for everyone that's been reaching out for the uh, different designs. For our t-shirts and that company that we're, we're thinking of working with um has actually reached out and they're uh, assigning us a personalized um designer to kind of go through our thoughts of what we want to do and get a couple of rough uh, estimates out there of not rough estimates but um whatever samples i guess is what, you want to call them, of what we're gonna be doing 
All right, God bless. We'll see you tomorrow from Orlando. I'm gonna go get to the pool.